Well, hello there, everyone. You've tuned in UXW Bill, and unfortunately, this is not happy news. Because if we keep walking here, you'll see that we have the Alice Chalmers 7020 here again. And we've had a disaster, folks. And I'm not exactly certain of the cause, but I'll tell you what I do know. I know that our lovely sand end compressor is locked up, does a marvelous job of <clears throat> burning the belt off. And I think that maybe instead of an unfortunate case of infant mortality, that this compressor may have been murdered. And I'm not trying to throw any shade on anybody when I say that. But if we look down here at our high side fitting, as well as the things that are around it, we see there's a lot of oil. Now there was a diesel fuel disaster on this tractor the other day, but most of what got loose in that regard stayed on that side of the engine. When I undid this just now, I heard a little pfft. So there's no doubt in my mind that this is leaking. Plus you can see how the dust has adhered to it. You might remember in the original series of videos about reviving this air conditioning system that the high side Schrader valve got damaged and I got one off of Amazon to replace it and this is probably a cautionary tale of why you don't do that. But once that started leaking, the tractor operator did in fact notice that the air conditioning system was struggling and instead of shutting it off and seeing about diagnosing it, they kept running it until it finally flew the white flag. And yeah, now if you turn it on, it just starts burning the belt off and it's, I can turn it by hand, but it's very, very difficult. And so I'm guessing with the loss of the refrigerant charge, there also came a loss of lubricating oil flow and that torched the internals of the compressor. So, we we'll have to see where we're gonna go from here. I'm gonna talk to AP Air about it and the people that supplied the compressor. At a minimum, new compressor, new TXV, new high side valve. I don't know if the TXV could have factored into this or not. Those of you who watched the original series of videos probably remember that when I ran nitrogen through the system, it took several minutes for it to flow through that TXV, almost like it was just slammed completely shut. And when I spoke to the folks at AP Air about that, they said, we'll charge it anyway, see if the system works, and if it does, you're probably gonna be okay. As for those of you in the viewing audience, do you have any thoughts about this? I'd certainly welcome it, because I will tell you right now, I am still very much on the lower levels when it comes to technical accomplishments and a history of servicing these things. And I'm always interested in learning something, even if only what not to do the next time. So thank you as always for watching and certainly do feel free to leave a constructive comment if you have one while they try to run me over with the folder. <laughs> so here's a riddle for you. Why is it illegal to laugh out loud in Hawaii? I have no idea. because it's an aloha state. <laughs> I probably better keep it down. I wouldn't want to get in trouble if anybody's watching this in Hawaii. I'm putting the garden in if anybody wonders.